Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Goodness John. So today I'm going to be showing us how to make heat and butter padding. So the basic measurements we're going to use are the basic measurements we'd use when making a basic skirt pattern, which are the um, hip length, the pad length. So instead of the skirt length, we're going to use the pad length. So my pad length is going to be the um, skirt length minus four inches. And then we're going to need the round waist, the round hip, and then the waist to under butt so just underneath the butt like you go over the curve of the butt and where it's like the end of the butt that's where you stop that's the butt length so let's get into the video i hope this video is helpful please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you for watching so the first thing i'm going to do is apply my biggest measurement which is my round hip so I'm working with 39 inches and a uh, quarter of that. So quarter of that is nine three quarter. So I'll measure nine three quarter on two sides because I'm doing my front and back pattern on this pattern paper. So I'm drawing the line for the front pattern and for the back pattern. So I'll just do that, connect the lines together. So next, next I'm going to start applying my measurements. So I'll start me with my round waist. My round waist is 24. So quarter of that is 6. So I'm using 6 and a half. Yes, it's 26. Sorry. 26. Then I will take the measurements at the back pattern. So now I'm measuring my um horizontal measurements. So my hip hip length, which is eight. <coughs> Next I'll apply the um under bust length. Sorry, under bust length, which is fourteen inches. So I'll just mark that. And then the pad length, which is sixteen inches. I'll mark that as well. So at the hip length, I go down by um, two inches. I usually do that just so I can get like a nice hip curve, so it's not like pointed or anything. So I just measure that on the back pattern as well, and then connect the lines together. So now I'll label my lines so I don't get confused. That's my hip length. That's the two inch line, so I just leave that. This is my under both length. And that's my pad length. My pad length was the um skirt length, sorry, knee length minus four inches. You can use five inches, but it shouldn't be too short because it's hip and both pad. So that's my front and this is my back so we don't get confused so now to my round measurements so my round hip is already that measurement I applied so I don't need to measure that so the pad length I'll subtract two from the hip length and then apply that and then I'll do that for the back as well And then I connect the lines together to give me my curve, my um pattern, my basic pattern. So I connect the waist to the hip with the hip curve. And then from the two inch below, I'll connect that way straight line to the pad length. And then I'll do that for the back as well. I'm just replicating what I've just done for the front on the back pattern. So we have the front and back pattern. 
and then we can start altering the pattern to make our cup uh pad okay so my pad let my pad for the front is five inches and then for the back you would measure from the side to the middle of the bust so um vertically like around the hip so you measure on the person's body from that point from that midpoint the joining line at the side to the middle of the butt which most of the time is just the actual measurements so i'll connect that so i'll go at the waist i'll go one inch down for the front and the back pattern and then i'll connect that to the front so i need more at the top there so it covers the ties so i'm using this as a guideline but i'm just going to shape that a little more just so it's a little like bigger at the top that's going to be my new line i'll just connect that together to the bottom line and then i'll connect this line at a point to the pad length so for the back pattern it's going to be longer because it goes all the way to the middle of the butt so i'm just going to take half inch less like reduce it by half an inch and then i start connecting the curves so i'll use this at the under butt length that point and then i'll transfer it to the back pattern as well i had two and quarter and then i'll just add the two and quarter plus one inch that's three and quarter at the under butt length of the back pattern so whatever you have at the front is what you use and then i'll connect this with like a slight s curve i'm just using my pen just get the shape out and then i'll use my curve to mark it out so just a slight s curve at the bottom so from the hip to the under both length and then at that point you go diagonally in by two and a half that just gives you a guideline on how wide the top curve should be so i've drawn that just a rough sketch i'll use my marker to mark it out so it's it's um more so it's clearer so now I'm just drawing out the rough sketch I've done. Connect my lines together to give me my hip curve. Sorry, my back pad, pad length, back pad, hip and butt pad pattern. Mind you, you don't have to do this redrawing that I just did. If you're sure that the rough sketch you did is perfect, you just have to look at it and make sure it looks like a nice curve. And then you can just cut it out. So I'm just um drawing over the ones I drew with my pen just so that it's clear. And we know which is part of the um pad and which isn't. So that's my front pattern. And this is my back pattern. So this is the front and that's the back pattern so i'm marking the hip hip um length so i don't make a mistake and then i'll go cut this out and show you what it looks like so these are my patterns the front and the back so this is what i'm going to be using i'm using a one inch foam and i'm using this glue gun this is what i'll use to couple the back and the front foam together so i'll use my pattern to trace out the shape with my marker and then when i trace out the shape i'll just cut that out i'm going to be cutting two of each so one for the left and one for the right so i'll just trace this out using the pattern and make uh, and i'll ensure to mark up mark the points to the up the hip length the side front the side back just so i don't make a mistake after i've cut it out and i'm not confused with what part is what part so you have to be careful make sure you label everything right 
just to avoid that confusion. Just mark it where is my side back because that's the side the side uh is where it's going to join together. I'm just marking it out so I don't make a mistake when it's time to I've cut out the four. The next I'm going to do is to mark out one inch on this on this center front of both patterns. So I'm just marking out one inch on all my patterns. Sorry, one and a half inch. One and a half inch. So I'll just mark that and then it's time to trim. So I'm, the idea of this is to try to flatten it out. So it kind of blends to the body. So it's not like puffed up when you wear it. So I'll do this for all four patterns. Now it's time to join. I start my joining at the hip length so that I'm sure I'm joining the right places together. So I'll just do this little by little just putting a bit at a time and then holding it still to make sure it's it um glues down before i go to the next part so i'll just do that for the other side as well so you have to be patient when you're doing this it, the, the good thing is glue comes fast so when i'm done with this inside i'll turn it to the back and glue the parts that looks like it's gaping so once i'm sure i've glued everything down i'll do it for the other side as well and then I will do the lining, cut out the lining because I want this covered. So I just press that flat on the lining material and then cut it one inch bigger than the pattern. For both pieces of the cloth, uh, the pad for both pieces. And then I'll go and sew it around, leaving just a little bit uh just a little space to turn it and to put the pad in so i'll uh, just leave a little uh, big enough for my hand to go in so now i've gone and turned it and left the space so i'll just make sure you're putting it in the right shape Look at the shape and what what goes where, and then try to fit that into the pad. And fit it properly, and then I'm going to take that part that I've left open, and to the machine, and just sew it on top. You can hand tuck it if you want, but I don't have energy for that stress, so I'm just gonna go sew that on the sewing machine. Do it for the front and back. And I'll take needle and thread and tack this down just so it doesn't board at the middle. Do that for both sides. And then I make sure I mark the hip length on the back. That's how I'm going to be attaching it to the cloth. So I'm attaching hip length to hip length, joining it at the side. I'm going to link a video where I use this on a cloth so you can see how it's applied to the cloth. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever i post a video thank you so much for watching guys